Hi everybody, welcome to this video. Now in this video, we're going to talk about subjective pronouns, be verbs, and also contractions. So let's take a look at the board. Okay, first we have the subjective pronouns. And we have the be verbs, am, is, and are. Okay, so let's look at the first one, I, am. I am Esther. The contraction for I am is I'm. I'm. Now, a contraction is a more common way of saying subjective pronouns and their be verb. It's faster and quicker and shorter. Okay, it's more common. I want you to use contractions. Okay, so I am becomes I'm. He is he's. She is she's. It is it's. Okay, let's move on to the bottom. You are becomes your. Your. We are we're. We're. And they are. The contraction is there. There. Okay, let's move on to the next part. We're going to take a look at some sentences using the be verbs. Now, notice on the board, I've only used contractions. Okay, for example, instead of I am, I'm going to say I'm. So the first sentence, I'm a student. Okay. This means one. So we have to say a student. A. Now, many people make the mistake of saying I'm student, but that's wrong, okay? You have to put a. Now, before I read it, you have to listen carefully. I'm a sounds like one word. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a student. Okay. Please repeat after me. I'm a student. I'm a student. Okay, the next one again sounds like one word, he's a. He's a. Okay, so he's a student. Please repeat. He's a student. He's a student. Same thing. She's a student. Please repeat. She's a student. She's a student. Okay, the next sentence has it. Now remember, it is only used for a place, a thing, or an animal. So we can't have those things be a student. So we have to say, it's a dog. Okay, please repeat, it's a dog. It's a dog. Okay, the next one, you're a student. Please repeat, you're a student. You're a student. Okay, now let's look at we're. We're students. Okay. We took out the A and we put a S because we're means many people. Not one student, but many students. So we have to say we're students. Please repeat. We're students. We're students. The same thing goes for they. Again, they means many people or many things. Here we put S. And we took out the A. So, their students. Please repeat, their students. Their students. Okay, we're going to look at some more examples. Please listen and repeat carefully. Let's start with the first one. I'm. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. He's. He's a man. He's a man. He's a boy. He's a boy. She's. She's a woman. She's a woman. She's a girl. She's a girl. It's. It's a chair. It's a chair. It's a cat. 
It's a cat. You're. You're a singer. You're a singer. You're a friend. You're a friend. We're. We're sisters. We're sisters. We're brothers. We're brothers. They're. They're people. They're people. They're cars. They're cars. Well, I hope that this video helped you understand how to use subjective pronouns, their be verbs, and also contractions. Now, before we go, I wanted to share a little bit about myself using the lesson. So, first, remember, I'm a, I'm a girl. Also, I'm a teacher. I'm an American. Now, the word American starts with the vowel A, so we have to say an. I'm an American. And I'm an animal lover. Again, same thing. Animal starts with the vowel A, so we have to put an. I'm an animal lover. And that means someone who loves animals. I love dogs and cats and other animals, so I'm an animal lover. Okay, well, that's it, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!